Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you probably the biggest step up that OpenAI or ChatGPT has done in terms of SEO for a long, long time. Now, I made a video yesterday about GPT-4-1106 preview, but in that video I did tell you that they had released something called Assistance as well. Now, I have been testing Assistance and I want to tell you right now this is completely insane this is a huge game changer for a couple of reasons number one it has code interpreter inside of it which means we can visualize data which brings more unique content to each article you write number two every single output is longer and still well formatted just like ChatGPT or using the playground normally but with the power of custom instructions and data analysis so what you want to do is you want to go to platform.openai.com slash assistance, then you want to press create. We'll just call it SEO bot, it doesn't really matter. And then I have a list of um, custom instructions right here. So we'll use two men as an example, okay? And I'm going to show you how I make my, um, make my custom instructions, because I do think that's important to note, and yeah, not everyone will know how I make them. So to make a custom instruction, what I've actually been doing is I've been using ChatGPT itself to create a custom instruction. Now this is important because this is a part of the process. So I'll just go through this very, very quickly. What you wanna do is you wanna go and browse with Bing and you wanna say, can you research what a ChatGPT custom instruction is? Now the reason that you wanna do this is oftentimes it's better to let ChatGPT learn for itself than to tell or give ChatGPT information. Okay, so you can see here ChatGPT custom instructions are a feature that allows users to personalize the AI's responses according to their specific preferences. Okay, here's how you can set up blah, 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 doesn't really matter. What matters is that it understands what a custom instruction is. Okay, what you then want to do, and it says here 1,500 characters for each section. So just to make sure that it fully understands what a custom instruction is, just say how many custom instruction well it's actually answered it here so normally what i would say is how many custom instruction boxes are there but you can see here it said it's recommended to provide chat gpt for information about yourself in the first box and then include instructions on how you want it to respond in the second box so what i normally do is i give um my custom instruction that i created for two men which i will leave in the description and then you give it the second box okay so we'll say after this we'll say first box We'll get rid of all this stuff here about um, these are my brands, etc., etc. We just need basic information, okay? So this is actually second box, second box, and then first box. The only reason I'm showing you this is because this is a super important part of this, okay? So then what you want to do is you want to take your business. So let's say we're, I don't know, we're writing, creating a website called Mattress Land, okay? So we want to say create a... Okay, let's say we're making one for ISU because uh, you do need to get some information about the website, okay? So you want to go to the website that you're, you're creating content for and you want you want to look for the About Us page, okay? And you can just literally stick the About Us page into um, this right here, okay? So you want to say, please use my custom instructions example below and the information about ISU to create a custom instruction for isuit.it. Then you just give it the about us page and then what it should do is it should then create it. So let's have a look. Okay, so you can see it's done a pretty good job. Um, I would probably add a bit more to this to be honest with you and it does say two men.it here, but if you put isuit here, there's no problem whatsoever. So now we have a new custom instruction. That's how I am creating my custom instructions. You can add more information to this. You can use my custom instruction for two men, for example, to add a bit more information here. But this is the basic idea. So once you have the custom instructions, then we'll go back to assistance and we're just gonna put the instructions here and put the instructions here. We'll get rid of this internal linking thing here. I'll show you why in a second, but let's just get rid of it. So we'll just scroll up. You won't have this in the descriptions. I won't leave it in the description. Okay, and then model, you want to do GPT-4-1106. You could also just do GPT normal. And then we want to turn code interpreter on. If you're intelligent and you know how to use functions, also use functions and potentially retrieval. 
If you have a lot of your company data or images or whatever it might be, you can also upload them into files. Now, I'm not sure what the actual um, limit here is. So what I'm actually gonna do as well is I'm gonna go to my sitemap XML and I'm gonna go to collections here, okay? And then I do have a little um, Chrome extension here called sitemap to clipboard. So sitemap to clipboard. Uh, you can just download this. I wonder how many downloads this actually has now because I have talked about this a few times now. 249 active users, good job. So we click here, we click start and that should copy my internal links. So we'll go back over to assistance, control V, as you can see, someone has been messing with my collections. I don't like people messing with my collections. I'll have to check in that in a minute. Someone's created collections here. I have no idea why. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I don't work fully for this company anymore, so I'll have to check what the hell they're doing. And then we'll press save here. You could also, if you wanted, you could add like more. Um, so like, let's say blogs, because you want to internally link to your blogs as well. So we'll click here again, press start. That should just copy directly. Oh, there we go. You can make it bigger. Huh. Thank God for that. Okay, so then we're going to press save here. And we'll press save again. We now have our assistant. So now we can click on playground. And we actually have everything set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, write a 1,500 word article for two men. It. Now, there are a couple of problems with this. So actually, I'm going to say, please make sure the the key takeaways table is correctly formatted and also um, visualize some data about the topic in that'll do in the topic. Okay, so now we're just gonna press add and run here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on logs. So you I, I'll actually explain what's going on here. And this is the super super cool part of this. Okay, so if I can find this, it's actually gonna create its own prompt. Okay, so this is the prompt that I gave it. Um, and we'll see in a minute what it actually does. So Okay, so the output here, as you can see, is decent. However, this isn't quite there yet. It's not quite perfect. Um, once this is fully perfect, this is going to be an absolute game changer. And the fact that you can upload your files, you could upload images, you could upload, you know, documents, you could upload already written articles, you can use retrieval, and also functions. Now, this will be something that will change the game. Basically, you can do something like, if, if you're good at coding, you could um, do a Google search find out what's already ranking for that particular article and then use a function to take that information and then you know reverse engineer it but obviously i'm not quite there with my coding abilities also for some reason the um tables just get completely messed up now this does require a bit of editing also it hasn't visualized any data so what i'm going to say is can you put the key takeaways table at the top in its own markdown table and also, please visualize some data to uh, to increase the rankability of the article. So we'll say add and run here. If you're curious, the first run here was um, 750 words, which is already longer than you know ChatGPT. But that's not the only thing. The other thing it's done is it's actually successfully done internal links. Okay. Uh, so this is Cesare Tellini, Kiton, Blazers, Kiton Bags. Is this actually linked to Kiton Bags? Yes, it is. Perfect. Kiton Shoes, Cesare Tellini again. So this is a this is one of the only repeat um, internal links. Suits, overcoats, track suits, KNT, cashmere sweaters, a link to two men, Cesare Tellini shirts. Is this a link to Kiton Suits? Yes, it is. Fioroni Polos. Marco Pescarola jeans, uh, key red coat. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. The ability to do good internal linking because what this means and what this does is you can add your business through internal links to ChatGPT. For me, this is an absolute game changer. Okay, so I'm going to run this again just to show you the real ability here. So I'm just going to copy this. We're going to click on assistance or whatever. 
click black on back on the playground, paste this, and then say, uh, please put the key takeaways table at the top in its own separate markdown um, border, I guess would be a good word. And also please visualize and execute on the um, code to visualize some data. Now I'm still working on prompts here, um, but basically the idea is to, because it's got a much larger context window, you can put all of your internal links in there. You can use that to shape the article around what you want it to write about without you know being too specific without worrying about collecting internal links for every article etc cetera, etc cetera. but also another thing is it it can execute code it can put bar charts flow charts all of that amazing stuff into it now this isn't perfect they only released this yesterday um for example there's not even a copy button okay so before i started making this video the playground was doing this for me I have no idea why it's suddenly not. It's kind of annoying. So basically what would happen was it would already um, create the data visualization. It's really, really good for ranking on Google. So I do highly recommend uh, having an alternative. This right here, program mis.pro slash IDE does seem to work. So then you can just save this image as, call it whatever you want, save that and then put it into the document. Another thing as well, like I said before, there is no copy button right now, which means you can't very easily get the markdown formatting. Another problem is the key takeaway table for some reason is just putting put into this really weird con um, format. Can you fix the formatting here? So you could probably just use something like ChatGPT exactly to uh, format this. but when this is ready, when this is complete, this is going to be insane, okay? It's almost there. It's really, really almost there. It's already a big improvement just because of the things I talked about before. And yeah, that's it, guys. Check this out for yourselves. You can put basically unlimited information into the prompts now. This is something I've been waiting for for such a long time. Work on your prompts, make the prompts better. I'm going to keep experimenting with this, of course, you know I am. If I discover anything else insane or anything else new, you guys will be the first to know. Another cool thing, it seems like you can actually upload files into ChatGPT API, which wasn't possible previously either. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for this. I'm sure other people are super, super excited for this. I just wanted to show you a few ways that you could use this to your advantage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.